Hey guys, it's Dangani, and uh, I was banned from doing anything Pokemon related in my household. Card games, video games, shows, movies, you name it, I couldn't play Pokemon. Alright, let me explain. You see, a long time ago, my mom thought Pokemon were associated with the devil. Yeah, I have no idea where she got this information. It had something to do with religious stuff, and I wasn't allowed to do anything with Pokemon. It was essentially banned from my house. My friends occasionally asked me if I played Pokemon while growing up, and I always responded no. And then they instantly asked, Dude, where was your childhood? I didn't have one, you naive child. No, I'm joking. I had a great childhood that I'm very grateful for, but it was just this one thing being Pokemon that I couldn't associate myself with. My friends would recite the whole Pokemon theme song and the Pokemon rap. The one where it names all the Pokemon or whatever. Yeah, I swear, every kid knows those songs word for word. I never watched the original Pokemon TV show and I just didn't know anything about Pokemon. At first as a kid, I didn't really care because I had so many other things to entertain myself, specifically Beyblades. Oh my god, I should do a video on Beyblades. Like, okay, come on, Beyblades were amazing. I had Fang Leon, which, not trying to brag, I was kind of the best with. But anyway, like I said, I didn't care about not being able to play Pokemon until my cousin constantly showed off his Pokemon stuff. He had binders stacked with cards, and of course, me being the artsy friend, I nerded out over these. They looked so cool, and the whole collecting aspect seemed really fun. And it wasn't even the cards, man. He had movies. And this is when I really started getting fascinated with all the Pokemon stuff. I specifically remember this one time watching TV in my room, and Pokemon was on Cartoon Network, and I really wanted to watch Pokemon, so I sat like three feet away from the TV. Now, I knew I wasn't supposed to be watching Pokemon, and the stairs are right next to my room, so my mom would be able to see if I was watching the Forbidden Show. And then, I heard my mom walking up the steps as I rushed to the TV and quickly changed the channel to whatever I could. And I landed on the Food Channel. The Food Channel. No 10 year old kid is gonna be watching the Food Channel when Pokemon is on Cartoon Network. Like, I know my mom was thinking, man, this kid is not slick. And then I was grounded for half a year. No, I'm joking. She didn't even say anything about it. I don't even think she really cared. And, you know, I was still in fear that I was done for. Eventually, my mom realized the whole Pokemon ban thing was kind of stupid, and she definitely changed her ways for the better as a parent. I grew up on so many things, but Pokemon was not one of them. And it's so weird, since Pokemon is literally one of the biggest video game franchises out there. It's a series that anyone could love, and I know so many people do. So yeah, I still have yet to play a single Pokemon game, other than like Pokemon Go, but come on, who didn't play that? And that's kind of why I'm really excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's gonna be my first real mainline Pokemon game, and it looks really fun. But it also looks a bit rushed. I really hope Game Freak is gonna fix a lot of the problems with this game. Because it doesn't look perfect. But oh well, I'm most likely gonna buy it anyway. One thing that does look super fun is the whole open world area. I'm not crazy about the restricted movement we usually see in Pokemon games, so this is definitely a breath of fresh air. The whole world in general just looks beautiful, and anytime I see gameplay, I just want to explore. And the whole Dynamax thing where the Pokemon turn giant looks pretty fun to me, not gonna lie. Not only that, but I love all of the characters we've seen so far, and I'm just really excited to jump into the series with this game. So I hope it's good. I just also really want Game Freak to fix these problems. If you have any advice or suggestions when it comes to Pokemon, please let me know because I know basically nothing about the series and I feel like I should know some basic stuff before jumping into Sword and Shield. By the way, I'm getting Shield because it looks cooler and like, you know, so many people are already gonna be getting Sword, but regardless, I just want these games to be good. I mean, we're gonna find out by the time it comes out and I'm definitely gonna make a video on it. But, like, does this game look rushed? I'm not the only one, right? Right? Also, not gonna lie, it's a bit weird for someone like me not to know anything about Pokemon. I'm sure if I played it when I was young, I'd be a pretty big fanboy, but hey, it just means I'm gonna be able to jump into an entirely new series I've never played before. Just know that my starter Pokemon is gonna be this. <laughs> 